So, as you can see, it's another beautiful day, but there's nothing happening, because if I go this way, it's all blocked and you're not supposed to leave. I'm not really supposed to go around here, but we'll have another look around here. I mean, I'm hoping you're all going to understand that we can't go anywhere. Um, I'm going through a bit of tampo at the minute with Mel, so I can't do any videos with Mel, she can't do any cooking videos, we can't, you know, we can't do that, so I hope you understand the situation, that it's quite difficult for me, and like doing this video is to show you we're still here, and how things are progressing, I've heard I don't know how true it is, I've got no facts to back it up that the airports might be opening starting from about the 14th of April so I'll just say again, I'm not 100% sure it's what people's been telling me um, on the live streams so you can see this is the part that I keep talking about where the people's got no food hey see everybody still well not everybody but most are still happy and polite and they all know me around here there's not a family around here doesn't know me so we're at the end here look the Sari Sari shops are still open and anybody that's got money can obviously buy from them they can go into Centro and buy food but the problem is it doesn't matter how well the shelves are stocked if they haven't got any money they can't buy the food now this family here where I'm pointing the camera their uh, income is the balut they sell balut now they've been selling a little bit just round here but it's only a little bit nowhere near the amount because the Sunday kids normally walking around with it and then go into Centro with it to sell the rest and sit in Centro So you can understand the uh, problem they've got. There's a lot of pajack drivers here, there's a lot of trike drivers here that can't drive because of the situation. Everybody's getting a little bit sick of being just, you know, on top of each other and they can't go anywhere. You see, it's one thing to sit in your house because you don't want to go out. It's another one to have to sit in your house knowing you can't go out. Now you all, if you've been watching the live streams, you all know how I feel about this situation. And that, um, well I can't say it on a video otherwise I'll have to delete the video. But <laughs> if you watch my live streams, there's uh, a lot of opinions on the situation and sometimes there's a lot of good information have you seen the Filipino dance this is the dance to do with the kids look see it's always the same we all do the same dance hey uh, that that old guy we've just passed, he's Barangay. That smells uh, uncle. And this is the electrician. 
with his new baby. Hello! So this is uh, the barrier as I showed you on the other video. It doesn't stop anybody coming in and out, it's just basically a deterrent at night time. The barangay walk round and if they catch anybody at the other side of that barrier that shouldn't be there then they get uh, locked up. So that shop's closed down, it's never been open since all this started. I'm guessing it's not going to open at all. Now here's, here's the doggy look. Here's my little baby. Hello. He's, he's looking a lot better than he did, although he's still quite skinny. I'll give him a wash with some, like, uh, not an antiseptic, but a, a soap that's supposed to kill the minge. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. Minge, sorry, minge. My God. And it looks like it's done a good job because he was, his fur was practically gone. So they're letting him walk about and uh, it's made a difference because other people's feeding him as well. The reason they uh, locked him up was the local authorities were rounding stray dogs up and if they weren't collected after two days they were destroyed. Um, it's pretty difficult to get drinking water because uh, the water station's closed. It hasn't opened for about four days now, five days, something like that. The Jacobs, the new business, that's been closed from day one. They don't open on Mondays. But I, I love dogs, you know, but I very, very much dislike that one. Um, they've not really opened since all this started, the Euro East uh, Express, that's only just recently closed because nobody's using it. You see the odd trike and the odd pajat, but really this shouldn't be out. I don't know what the score is there because I can't get any information guys. So that's about it on the update, there's people haven't got any money for rice, the barangay, the local authorities has delivered rice twice since this all began, they're trying to uh, feed people that can't be fed. Now before I wrap up I have a problem and this is directed at you if you live in the UK. Now. I don't know how I missed it, but when I renewed my license in 2014 before I came to the Philippines, the license should have been for 10 years. Uh, it was at the very end of 2014 that I renewed it. And again, it should have been for 10 years. It turns out it's only five years. Now I don't know how that's happened. So obviously my problem is I'm in the Philippines and I have my car license and HGV and all my licenses here, you know it's all on one license. Now I've tried to renew online and they accepted it as I thought and then all of a sudden I get a message saying that I don't qualify and I have to fill in a, uh, a pack a renewal pack that they've sent to the address in the UK they said you'll get it within the next few days so they're sending a pack now my question is will my sister be able to use that pack because they did say uh, include your license unless you don't have it now please if you really really don't know for sure can you not like answer my question and can you do it to email not in the comments please because um, I'm panicking a bit now I know I say I'm not going to go back to the UK but if I do I want to be able to drive so I don't want to let my license lapse 
my HGV in that as long as I don't let my license lapse and I keep it going I can always renew me uh, HGV license and uh, drive if I wanted to not that I want to but you know what I say, it's better to have it and not need it than need it and not have it. So if you've got any information about, yeah Chris, as long as you got the pack, somebody can fill it in for you and send it off and you'll get your new license, that would be great. So with that said, and my little happy dog, he looks a lot happier now, look, he, still, he really needs another wash I guess. But. I'm so pleased he's a lot better than he was. Well, that said, we're about ready to go. Ma's not got any rice to sell, look. Just noodles. And the shop's pretty much packed. It's because nobody's buying anything. So, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share our videos. And please, guys, stick with us while this situation continues you know what the score is um, I'm pretty taken back that I've had uh, people send me messages saying why don't you do this video why don't you do that video <laughs> and it's like what it's because I can't I can't do the videos you want me to do yet when all this is over and things hopefully hopefully get back to normal then uh, we'll be able to oblige but until then it's the update videos only thanks guys see you again Searching for a longer day People feeling like the light has just come We must never stop the way yeah. Birds jumping and I hear my name Grasping into a life Life is happy but it's so insane We must merely make a show